the evil dark dragon blade a legendary sword said to have been carved out of the bones of a black dragon it brought plague and death to the world during the age of ancient myth it has been sealed by those of the dragon lineage since the dawn of history because of its incredible capacity for evil made possible by the souls of the vanquished black dragons that dwell within it it is said that if the blade seal were to be broken it would gather the hatred and evil of mankind and confer it upon the one who wields it transforming him into the devil incarnate however not even those of the dragon lineage who protect it know the true extent of its power the dragon sword another weapon protected by the dragon lineage since ancient times this sword which is said to have been used by ancient warriors to slay the black dragons is now handed down from generation to generation in the Hayabusa ninja clan the modern descendants of the dragon lineage and now the dragon sword is gripped firmly in the hands of young ninja Ryu Hayabusa Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the, welcome to a brand new Let's Play on this channel. I'm the Ninja Stalker, and this is Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Uh, I've not played Ninja Gaiden Sigma before. I have played Ninja Gaiden and Ninja Gaiden Black. I have found that Ninja Gaiden and Ninja Gaiden Black were pretty much the same game. It's just Black, I think, was supposed to be tougher or something like that. I don't quite remember. Sigma is supposed to be the same game of those, except the puzzles are a little different or something. Again, I've not played this. I don't know. I didn't bother looking online to see, like, really what was the big difference. It's just I bought this game because I've played this, and it was in a Steam package that has Ninja Gaiden 1, 2, and 3, but it's the Sigma editions, which should be fine. As long as it's, the, along, as long as it's following the original game, uh, whether it was on the original Xbox or uh, 360, I don't remember. I think it was on the original Xbox. We're good to go. Uh, I have beaten that game so this is what we're gonna do and then once after this one we'll go to two and see what happens there I don't know but for this game I was out of all my friends I was the only one to have beaten this game and beaten it in a faster time than the others than my other friends who had the game and were struggling through it I mean I again I've beaten it but also once my friends uh, started like one by one they couldn't beat the game and the ones that tried I did it faster than they could I'm not trying to brag it's just I, it was just one of those things that I was like this game is tough but my friends were like yeah it's really tough and I was like yeah well I got to this level and they were like oh shit you know so it was one of those cool things so let's go ahead and jump into the game I have gone to options and video settings uh, I, I found that if I change the video graphics, like, whatever, uh, if I change it from auto to, like, 1920 by 1080 or 24, whatever, blah, 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 the recording stops for some unholy reason, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. Let's just jump into a new game, and, ooh, hero mode, huh? Wait, hero mode, normal, and hard? I'm guessing hero mode is easy. Normal's normal, hard is hard. We'll go with normal and then we'll, maybe we might try to play the game again on hard difficulty. I can't remember if this game, if you go to hard difficulty, it unlocks things like certain weapons or certain uh, uh, attires, or like attire, skin, skin, uh, like clothing or something. Because I... I I don't know if it was in the original or if it was in Ninja Gaiden Black, but if you beat the game and then you played in a hard difficulty, I believe you can unlock Ryu Hayabusa in his original, uh, original ninja costume. And then there was another one where he's like in a futuristic costume with like a lightsaber or something like that. I don't know, but whatever the case, we're going to go normal. 
I don't know if I'm going to get all the golden scarabs. Maybe I might push for that. I generally like to explore in the video games, and when you do that, you're rewarded. And one of those rewards for a game like this, for example, is finding golden scarabs. You collect those, you get things. Uh, I'm also going to try and upgrade possibly any and all of the weapons and effectively utilize them in the game. I find that not I, I find that using multiple weapons in this game is very helpful for the situation because not all enemies are gonna die easy with the standard sword. You gotta you gotta start using nunchucks, you gotta start using the staff, you gotta use fucking all kinds of weapons. And then there are certain weapons in the game, if I remember correctly, there are certain weapons in the game that if you upgrade them enough, they will be like OP. They will be like the best weapons in the game. We'll get into that once we have those weapons. We'll get into that once we have those weapons. Hopefully, it carries over to this game. If it doesn't, I'm going to be very pissed. Uh, so, let's go ahead with normal. Normal play style. Good for those who play many action. Yeah, let's do that. Whatever. I cannot play this game without getting hit, so I'm going to get hit. Like, expect me to get hit. Also, for ninja rankings in the game... Uh, uh, and I, I might get Ninja Dog. I hope I don't, but is it is a unique thing in this game where if you do really well, they'll call you like Ninja Master or something like that. If you do really poorly, you'll be called like Ninja Dog or something. It's a crazy ranking system. Uh, if you miss things, if you get hit a lot, if you have to heal yourself a lot, all the, if you leave enemies behind, you're gonna get a low score. Um, they might as well just call you, like, Ninja Bitch or something like that. It's basically another way of just saying, like, you suck. You fucking suck. You're a bitch, basically. So, anyways, it was Chapter 1, The Way of the Ninja. In the mountains of, uh, in the mountains of Autumn, there is one who walks the path of the ninja. That's us. There's this guy, and... Thank you for playing Demon Souls and Dark Souls. You've died. That right there is Ninja Ria Hayabusa, if you don't know. Uh, pretty sure a lot of people do. This is an old game. Uh, there's a uh, Ninja Hottie with the body right there. Uh, got our controls. Collect that. He did. Collect that. Alright, so those yellow orbs, you collect those. They give you, I think, experience? Uh, okay, so that's first person view as that. Okay, that. Okay, so that sets it. This blocks. I'm trying to get my bearings around again. Items, interact, open that shit. He always kicks them. We got the elixir of spiritual life. That's what's up. Uh, if you hit the B button, you throw your uh, shuriken. You can also change that item for uh, kunais and stuff once you pick those up. Uh, bombs or whatever. Here's your jump. There's your slice. There's your power attack. Uh, again, that resets. That does that. And then there's a... Uh, get used to doing this. Uh, let's see. Up at the top, you see your health. And you see a circle with um, something in the background. I don't know what that is exactly. Maybe it's like a, a hawk or something. But that circle is when you pick up special... Um, special scrolls that teaches you how to use... I don't know. I, for, I forgot the name of it. They teach you things, and you use those. Uh, you use that special ability to help yourself in in battles. Uh, let's just put it like that. Again, Ryu Hayabusa. He's wearing this costume. This is one of the costumes that you can wear for the entire game. Video cutscenes will show him wearing whatever costume he's supposed to for the game. There are other one. There are other cutscenes that can show whatever costume you selected. Uh, this is one of them that you can have if you beat the game a certain way. Uh, it's a pretty good costume. I like it. And I like his other costume, the standard costume, but this one I, I like a little bit better than that. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the uh, attacks i uh, i love combos and i will always go for the longest combo because i think or i believe in this game the longer the combo the more of those yellow orbs you get and the possibility of getting blue orbs or i think red orbs i don't remember if red orbs was a thing in this game uh you want that 
You really want that. Of course, there are times where you just want to kill the enemy as fast as possible. So you might want to consider that. Me, I don't really learn my lesson on those kind of things, so I will always... Um, I will always uh, go for the longest combo, especially weapons like with the nunchuck and do like a hundred combo hit or something, you, you would get rewarded. It's difficult, but it can be done. Uh, maybe people are probably thinking it's super easy, but I don't know, whatever. Anyways, for the sword, so as you can see, that's one attack right there. You see that he does like a downward slice, so he will always do that. You see that. That's on the X button. Uh, if you do two, he does that. as a downward slice and a horizontal uh, slash. It will always be like that. And then if you hit it out some more, there you go. You got like, uh, hold up. One, two, three. There you go. So he gets a three little, uh, three little combo there hitting X three times. You can change it with like that with, uh, X, X, Y. Uh, you can do X, Y, X. And then that's X, Y, Y. So you can see that there's also aerial uh, combos and attacks. Get used to that. You can also jump and do uh, X. So A is jump. So A, X. A, Y. Uh, A, X, Y. So there's that. Um, you saw earlier the combo I did was uh, my uh, was a Ryu here, uh, our character. I was doing... A hit combo like that and then I hit Y and it caused them to kick the individual not too many people online do that I do it because it allows you to have more of a hit combo for your uh, for your overall score uh, this weapon is the dragon sword as I said in the video and if you are very keen-eyed you can see right there at the hilt at the bottom of it there's a hole we'll get to that very later on in the game uh, you can upgrade these weapons, not right now, but you can later on, and they require points. Uh, so the orbs, those yellow orbs, that would be uh, your points that you can use, your experience points that you can use to upgrade uh, your weapons, and you really want to upgrade your weapons. Uh, there's, there's never really the one overall weapon you want, and you only want to focus on upgrading that. You want to upgrade all your weapons. Uh, let me see... Go. That's what I was looking for. Is uh, you can uh, you can roll. It's kind of a way to get somewhere faster, but also you can do that. This is a very fast way of moving around. Is uh, you you can run, but then there's jump. You see your speed picked up a bit, just a bit, and then you can also jump and that. And just get places faster. Let's go ahead and check this body. Jazz gave him wounds in his defenses. He never would have been able to survive in this world anyways. And we picked up an elixir. Alright, so there's a uh, crow up there. There are some creatures in the world that will net you points. So let's, let's see. Let's see if I can... doesn't really damn it almost had him some of the some of the anim, uh the creatures in this world will get you uh orbs as well but i mean it's just one orb let me see there's might be something around here it's a door there's that this might be locked yep or to say girls use worship local deities there doesn't seem to be any way to open at this time i believe this is something we'll come to later on in the game and i mean much later on into the game all right let's go ahead and uh Ninja must be able to find his uh, way even when the path is blocked. When facing an obstacle, jump towards it and run vertically up its side until you can grab on the ledge. Move uh, move left or right to climb or drop down. Yeah, so that uh, female hottie with the body, she... I, I don't know her name, but she will... Uh, I thought I saw a ninja just standing over there. I was like, did I leave somebody? She will uh, help you out and give you like clues and stuff, and this is going to be a reoccurring thing for her uh, in this uh, in this game. 
Uh, if you go down there, there's a way to get back up. You just jump on the walls, and that'll be shown later on. Let's go ahead and climb up. There we are, just like I said in that uh, note. Let's get over here, and let's go ahead and get on up. There we are. Uh, you can see that there's a rat right there. Wait for it to come over here, and... Damn. Oh, yeah, and that's another combo right there is that when you when you use the analog stick you can so here's that right and then if you use the analog stick in a certain direction or any direction rather you can do that that was another one right there uh let me see how do i, how do I... so you have to run you have to have a run and then if you hit the y you do a uh, double kick oh, get it get the get... Damn it. Uh, Ryu is quite the acrobatic, so he'll start doing stuff like that if you get to an edge. I'm trying to get that rat over here. Almost. Damn it. Come on, I know you can kill the rat. Well, there's our karma. That that's the uh, the overall points. There we go. We got the rat, uh, and it's gonna drop uh, orb. Picked up the orb. There we go. I also forgot to mention uh, special attacks. Um, so there's that power attack you saw earlier. I forgot to mention that. You can hold it, and then that occurs. This is a much powerful attack, and it did it twice. And when you hit the enemy, uh, depending on the level of your sword, you can do a certain combo, and it also depends on the on the weapon you're using. Now, those orbs, whether they're blue or yellow or red, if you do this, that it will uh, that will attract orbs to your character, to to Ryu, and it will build up his uh, it will build his uh, power attack even faster so there is uh there is that i try not to do that i try to uh not use up my orbs because i i like the orb for you know payment of karma and uh there's how you bring it back you just push down on the analog and it'll pop up Damn it. Do not underestimate the agility of your training has given you. Feats such as running along walls should, sim should be simple uh, for you to perform. If you cannot reach your destination with a single leap, make use uh, excuse me, make use of the surrounding walls. Yes, so some of them like this, too far to go. But if you do a, a wall run, there you go. Go ahead and pick up this. Great elixirs. And there's uh, the crow. It'll jump away. And there we go. One of your most uh, useful techniques is the flying bird flip. Jump towards a wall, run up it, and then jump off again. This allows you to travel to areas that may seem unreachable. Repeat the flying bird uh, flip to climb certain shafts and passages, as you can see here. So, can't get up there, so then you just do this, and there. You, you, you want to get to the highest point of that, because otherwise if you do it like... Uh, let me see if you that uh well it's actually forcing me to get up there but if you go up like that you can get higher as you can see Close 
collect my karma. Alright, let's see. Which was the way that makes it kind of interesting? Let me see. Is it this one? Yeah. Those uh, little fire tiki torches, whatever those are. If you hit those, you can sometimes get uh, karma out of them. Ninja Fortress. Should get ambushed here. Deflect your opponent's attack by holding down the block button. You will not live long without a good defense. True statement. And in here, we will have a uh, little mini battle. Map of the Fortress. Perfect. All right, there we are. I don't remember this in the original, but that's cool. Let's see, there's that. And was there a hidden door over here? No. No. Let's see. Damn. type that is often used for certain ceremonies not something that a ninja would wear uh part of uh, his face is missing yeah so we got to put something uh i think it's a like a mouthpiece or something and then you pick up that key lives of a thousand gods that is a pretty good piece of uh where's it at there we are nope go here there we are nine shining jewels bound together it raises reuse maximum health limit instantly so we'll go ahead and use it yes and then watch our health boom look at that let's go ahead and use one of these there we go just what i needed no golden scarabs, and we picked up, uh, that, ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Let me see, what else do we have? Great elixirs, valuables, accessories, yeah. Technique uh, flying swallow, yeah. So technique flying swallow. 
Fly at a high speed towards your foe and cut their head off. Dragon sword while jumping towards an enemy. Press, uh, that's why. And two while jumping towards an enemy. Dragon claw, dragon spray. X, Y, X, X, X while jumping towards an enemy. Uh, da, da. Okay. Give me that. Nothing. Let's check the map real quick. Let's zoom in. Here. I'm getting I'm getting the hang of uh of the attacks and especially the uh, defense. So you can't just uh, hold this and think that he's gonna automat and think that Ryu's gonna automatically uh, put it up the entire time. You have to anticipate when the enemy is going to hit you. Uh, it takes some time, a lot of practice, obviously. Uh, but once you kind of get the idea of how the enemy is going to hit you, when you're doing a strike and then some, and you feel that someone's about to hit you and you actually see the movement, what you need to do when you're trying to do your combos, so like let's say you're in the combo and you see someone's about to come up behind you and, and strike at you, you need to be hitting this button, the uh, LB button, like... I mean, like, you can do it like that, and I'm, right now I'm hitting it, right? So check this out. I'm doing my combo, but I'm also hitting hitting my button. You saw that my character moved because I had the analog, but check it out. So I'll do my combo, and then, bam, you see? I was doing this button while I was doing this combo. When you get the timing done correct, and someone's about to strike you, Ryu will then stop what he's doing to defend himself and deflect or um, block the attack. Now you can hold this and block all you want, but deflection is the best part. This part right here, this parry slash deflection thing, this is what's really going to help you. So it'll uh, stop the damage, and then you're able to continue with attack, uh, I guess they call it a repost or whatever. You can you can hit back at the enemy if you choose the new, the, the new enemy to engage. Otherwise, you can do this and then move out of the way like that. Uh... So, yeah. Let's go ahead and check the map. Okay, I can't go over there. I can't go over there. It's either down there or over here. There's a save. There's a message engraved on the tablet in Dragon's Mouth. The sacred underground paths of the dragons record all that occurs in the world of men. We have not forgotten those who live on the surface of the earth. And we shall save boom now I believe in Ninja Gaiden 2 I've never played the game but I think in Ninja Gaiden 2 every time you go to those these save points it'll heal you up it will heal you but you only get one heal you can continue to save all you want but uh Picked up some self. Uh, let me go back real quick. I feel that there's stuff I have forgotten. Here we go. Let's go down. Uh, what is in here? Great elixir. Awesome. Get that. Let's fire over there. 
There's these bats. You can get some health out of them. If you let them, they will attack you, and uh, you'll lose some you'll lose some health because this is obviously an attack. There we go. That's what we needed. button left button directional pad select uh use yep okay Talisman of Rebirth. These are pretty good items. Uh, you want to get as many of these as you can, because you're bound to die in this game, and when you die, you have one of those that'll bring you back immediately. Blocking stance, tilt, or roll your body uh, as called reverse wind technique. Yeah, get used to that. Use the key of courage. Gonna need it for the upcoming battle. Alright, let's see uh, how well I do for this battle. I see you have made it this one. Nunchucks. Yeah. 
God damn. Fix something here to do uh, supplies, items. Stop it. Leave me alone. Get away from me! Damn it! God damn it, dude. Like, fuck off. Just use one of those, and I didn't want to. Okay, so we used one birth, uh, tal talisman of rebirth. Turns out this guy's a, a village friend or something like that. I don't know. Crazy thing is we killed off all his village. There's the hottie with the body. And God damn, did you see that ass? Ah, the dragon uh, sword. So your father is still killed off all his people. Universe. So, you know, like yes. he has entrusted me with the sword while he continues his training. No, I'm not sure, but I think Ryu here was like 20... You will 2 to 26 to years of age. The pursuit of power. Perhaps beginning with your training here. And what of the sister blade, the Dark Dragon? Has he left you in charge of protecting it as well? It remains in the village under the protection of my father's clan. They will ensure that the sword remains untouched. Its dark power sealed. It is a shame that such a sword must go untouched, such power unused. Alas, I am not of the dragon lineage. The sword is not of my concern. Liar. Natsumurai, the Hayabusa village. Master Ryu. I don't know why she makes it sound like it's a surprise that she sees us here because she's been throwing us kunais with messages for a while now. What'd we get? What'd we get? What'd we get? Cleared the way of the ninja. What's our score? Head ninja. Oh shit, what do you know? It's not master ninja. I think head ninja is like second best. I don't know. It's whatever. It's better than ninja dog. Or Ninja Bitch, whatever they decide to call it. Chapter 2, the Hayabusa uh, Ninja Village. The village is burning. Before long, Ryu hears the screams of his brethren. So let's uh, let's see what we got going on over here. There's a 
there is no time. Go now and protect your people. Oh, okay, so that's for him. Yep, okay. I don't know why he doesn't come with us to help, but whatever. Complex. Let's go ahead and uh, save. All right. That'll happen too. So whenever I pop through these areas, he'll just double back because it's it's not quite tank controls, um, but it generally leaves off. It generally aims your character in the direction of the. Uh, of the stick and as the camera moves it uh, changes everything about I do believe there's a faster way out of here I took this way I don't know why just leave me alone and I don't recall if I missed out on any golden scarabs so that's also another thing I hope I don't uh, let's see. There we go, this door is open, okay. Part of the fire wheel. There you go. It's uh, one of those little Kimpos or Mimpos or something. As you see, now we got a little uh, lit fire lamp over there. So what we're going to do is... Nimpo. There we go. There we go. Now we got something. Smoke bombs! That's what's up. Uh, I don't think there's anything down there that's important. Uh... Come on. So not all the time will the enemy give you blue uh, orbs to heal yourself with. So you gotta be, gotta kind of be uh, on the lookout. Health, that is. Uh. 
All right, so we have one of the uh... when entering water. Continue to hold the left stick, and you will run along surface. You must perfect this skill. If you let go of the stick, you'll fall in the water. There we go. Talisman? Nah. I thought it was a Talisman of Rebirth. I know there's one coming up. The Hayabusa Village. Follow a member of the Hayabusa clan. He took his last breath lying here amongst the burnt remains of his home. He holds something. I'll stretch his hand. Yay! Okay, we can't get in there, we can't get in there. We can't get up on the roof. Use those sounds to guard in in particular village. His head is missing. So we must find the head. Damn. Yeah, there's the red orb that we're talking about. crack a very strong impact yeah so you're gonna need like uh, a kunai with explosive or maybe even a strong weapon so yeah the hey was your brother slain invading forces is in a building particular must be haunting him even in afterlife there is a statue. Scroll shooting. Switching by pressing the left trigger in order to target precisely. Be careful. Uh, in the original game, I don't think she was up here. I think it was just a regular ninja, one of the clan brethren or whatever. Uh, I don't remember her here. I think they added her to give her. I think they added her to to, to give her uh, more FaceTime or something. I don't know some weird shit. Fuck! I didn't mean to do that. the double way. No, don't do that. It's another ninja. His last thoughts is slipped in the darkness. Grab that. 
Uh, here's uh, the legendary. Uh, I forgot what they call them. They'll say like legendary master swordsmith or some shit. I don't know. Statue of Dil uh, diligent old man uh, Muramusa, the legendary blacksmith. Yeah, that's what it is. Legendary blacksmith. There are folk uh, tales of people who approached the statue and walked away with various items and weapons. You'll see these throughout the game, if not himself with a shop. Uh, you'll you'll see it. It's pretty cool. But this is where you go to buy items or upgrade weapons and stuff. Uh, so as you can see, shop uh, at the shop. We can get the uh, spiritual elixir. We can get a double way elixir, double way. Then there's those ones. Uh, <sighs> oh, excuse me. As you can see. We can upgrade the dragon sword. There are three levels that you see right there. We already... Well, we don't have one, but we can upgrade one. Japanese sword handed down to the Hayabusa clan. It's carved out of the fang of a dragon. Let me see. What does he have? Arrows. We can buy arrows, but we can find them uh, later on. Armlet of the sun. Armlet of the moon. Art Inferno allows you to control fire at will. And then fire enveloping. Huh. Flying swan. A sword made of wood. It is used mainly to practice sword fighting and is incapable of cutting attacks. We are going to go ahead and buy this. And the reason why is when you see up there the level, there's quite a bit for you to upgrade for this. And it'll get kind of expensive and costly, but it is worth it. So I am going to purchase this. Would you like to purchase this item? Yes. Awesome. We have that. Uh... Let me see. Am I able to upgrade it just yet? I'm out of materials right now. Come back later. I'm out of materials right now. Come back later. Yeah. Okay. So, we have another weapon. Let's go ahead and put it on. Why not? Probably change it real quick. But don't worry about it. I just want to bring that out. And let's go here. Here. Supplies. Oh, so you see, some of the, uh, the combos kind of match up. That was a different one. And as you can see, I can't do that, that one power move. It just does that. But that's fine. Ah! Let's go ahead and bring back the dragon to do more damage. I just wanted to show you guys the uh, the wooden sword. It will have a pretty good use later on, I promise you.
There you go. That's how you get more more arrows. Now this battle, this battle here sucks because he, it's him and the horse and his weapon and these motherfucking, I'll show you, those guys.
hold still. Yeah, so it he to me is an easy battle. It's just the motherfuckers around him. Counterattacks, awesome. Uh, contains counterattack. Needs a gleaming cross and fiends back kick. Uh, allow you to counter enemy attacks immediately after blocking them. X or Y. Perfect, because I do click on the button a lot. Okay. We'll save and yeah. Bitch. God damn it. Oh shit. Almost died there. Fucker? Oh my god! Holy fucking shit, what is happening right now? Bro, I was... Dude. This was one of the things about the game that I remember was annoying. Um... I don't know if it said to like change the difficulty. I'm gonna be very pissed if it did. Cause I still want it on normal. I wasn't paying attention. I just clicked I just kept kept clicking A. Uh anyways. You saw that? The freaking attack, like, auto-followed. Alright, let me see what it says here. Uh, what does it say? Continue? Yes. Okay. Uh, is one of the things that I hate about this game, uh, when you died a lot, it'll, it takes forever to restart. Like, look at this. Look how long that fucking took. This motherfucker. Move. 
Probably gonna get a shitty score because of that. I promise you I'm not this bad. <sighs> One thing I did realize is that statue, I have the head and... Oh my god, I'm back here. Oh my fucking god, I'm back here. Choose to abandon a wave of ninja. No. Continue, yes. I don't know why they would do that. But that was kind of funny to figure out that this says that. It never did that before. It never did that before. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, so in this game, if they get a hit on you, you're kind of fucked. That cheap motherfucker... Bitch, I'm gonna fuck you up.
I don't remember that in the original game. They've added some extra. They've added some extra stuff in this. Uh, Cause I remember it was like a FMV sequence where she just like walked up and dropped some beads and shit. Oh, what do you know? They're allowing me to battle. I didn't think they would give you a, a, a chance to battle them or something. The FMV sequence was supposed to be that right there after the battle. It was supposed to show him trying to attack uh, the fucking creature dude or whatever. And he dies in one hit. And then this bird comes up and yeah. I didn't know they gave you a chance to try and fight him. Could have had him, but I mean... Yeah. And see what fucking score we get. Oh wow, Master Ninja, huh? Even though I died so many times. And here's the other costume you get. But I like the the first one. My network of ninja have uncovered the reason for the attack. The samurai who burned the village was Doku, lord of the greater fiends of the Vigor Empire. It appears as though the Vigor Emperor seeks the power of the Dark Dragon Blade. Doku. Now, I don't know what secrets I've missed. I don't know if there were any golden scarabs, but I think from this point forward, you can and will find secrets and uh, golden scarabs. Chapter 3, Skies of Vengeance. This is a very, very familiar level to me. I remember a lot of my friends got stuck on this, so this was one of those ones. I was like, yeah, there's, you know, just beat the fat man on the blimp a certain way. All right, Booze Village is burning. The Dark Dragon Blade is gone. Ryu has... Stowed aboard an airship headed toward the Vigor Empire. His goal is vengeance. The Holy Vigor Empire. A strange dictatorship veiled in secrecy. Its exclusionist foreign policy makes for very few ways to enter the country. One of the only remaining routes is by airship to the capital city of Tyron. There'll be a blimp on top of a blimp. There you go. We've received reports of a hostile malefactor crossing the Vigor border. A search will be conducted immediately. Maintain current course and velocity. I repeat, maintain current course and velocity. God dang it, I hate doing that. Let's, uh, I need to change that. Just go here, here.
And you can see at times Ryu, if he's close enough to some item, he he will look in the general direction of something that he can act, in, interact with. When strengthening your weapon, awaken its inner power greater strength, you will be able to perform devastating new techniques. True story. Airship map, perfect. Somebody's gonna pop through the window. Motherfuckers with the shields, man. And you all got to be careful with the enemies from this point forward because they will grab you. Bro, fuck out of here with that shit. Okay, uh... I'm, I'm starting to get the hint that the remote is not moving as fast as I would like. This remote better not be dying on me. Yep, one of those. 
one of those statues and I think we can actually start upgrading what do we have for shopping Uh, let's see, I'm gonna agree with this. I'm gonna wall quiver, power will increase. I think this is defense. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, uh, we can upgrade 2,000 for you, 3,000 for you. Uh, a little hint, hint there. Let's go ahead and upgrade the dragon sword since it's only for three. Whereas the other one was like, I don't know. Yeah, so we need 3,000 for you. So I can't get through there. ID card. Dragon Claw and Tiger's Fang. Ah, uh, that was not in the original game, I can tell you that. Let's, uh, let's fucking take a look at this. Dragon's Claw and Tiger Fang. What the fuck are we... We got that, we got this, two dummy swords that were reputedly the property of a famous dual swords master. Alright, let's check it out. That's pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of the uh, the fucking tassels hanging off the side, but uh, whatever. Adds no real tactical advantage. If anything, it's a hindrance in getting caught on something, or somebody can grab it if they're close enough to you. But uh, yeah.
It's an okay offensive weapon, but I don't have it upgraded well enough to use it. I'm going to continue playing with it, but let me let me see if it costs anything to upgrade it. And I'll also have to upgrade the wooden sword, because I'm, I'm telling you, that, that weapon is uh, fucking stellar when it's upgraded. <sighs> I see you found one of the golden scarabs, legendary artifact, which are scattered around the world. Uh, give it to me, and I will exchange it. It's worth your while. Uh, okay. Cool. Hey, you brought me one scarab, which brings you. Okay. Okay, so the wooden is gonna cost three thousand. The dragon is gonna cost two thousand. Um. We'll upgrade this, and then we'll upgrade this in the background. Let's do that. This one costs a lot to upgrade, but it's uh, it's worth it. Well, the thing is, am I even going to use this weapon? Am I going to use this? Fuck, that's the thing, because once you start upgrading, I have a feeling this game gives out weapons like crazy, because again, in the original, I do not remember this weapon. I don't remember this weapon. So, I don't know if... Now, the wooden one, though, you upgrade this. I'm telling you, like, when you max it out, it turns into a different, entirely different weapon. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, you can kind of see upgrading gives it uh, other other properties to it. If, if you want. Maybe like an extra attack or two. Yeah, see, defensively, it doesn't... Defensively, I'm running into issues. Fuck. Yeah, defensive, defensively, I was running into issues there. They, uh... Fucking grabbed me. I wonder if it's purely just an offensive weapon because there was nothing on defense for me there. See what happens, Bob. And then, what do we have for these? You can get nine of these.
mother fucker. Yeah, the the two sorted uh, the two sword weapons there. They don't have a counter attack defensive thing going on for it. Um, I'm just gonna stick with the dragon sword. I like how I fucking healed my character, and these motherfuckers brought me down.
Fucking bullet. Did I mention how shitty it is to die in this game? Because you know how far you gotta go back? And there was a blue fucking orb right there, man. I don't know what they give you as a reward in this room. I vaguely remember. I want to say it's like a Talisman of Rebirth, which kind of fucking makes sense.
All right, so the guy with the grenade launcher, he's a new enemy. I've never seen him before in my life. Oh, what do you know? So here's another thing too. Um, if you use these life of the gods and then you pick up that uh, nine lives of the gods or whatever and you use that, I think it cancels out whatever you used up. And like gives you the increased health but it throws away what you made so for example let's say if i had that nines of the life god and you see how i have four of these let's say if i use two of these for example or even one if i use nine of the life gods if i remember correctly it doesn't matter if i had the one or two it'll give me the increased health however i have lost the previous single ones of the uh, of these jewels so it's better to just use these when you have all nine I think if I remember that one correctly. They might have updated it for this game, but uh, I don't know. Hey, what do you know? Who's we'll scared? All in all, I would say that was a, a worth. Uh, it was worth it. The carnage and all that, and the headache. Excuse me. I'm trying to remember where to go. Didn't I already come up here? Ah, uh, I think that's. Yeah, I think it was here that I needed to go.
Oh, there goes those orbs. Motherfucker. Oh! <laughs> 
All right, get ready for the bullshit that's about to happen here. Me. This is going to be tough. Batman from Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. It takes forever just to start over. God damn it! There was, there was a way that I remember to defeat him really quickly, but... Ah, fuck, what was it? I think it was like you slash him and then you dodge. Slash and dodge. And you just keep doing it. You just slash and dodge. That's it. That's all you're supposed to do. See, this right here is annoying. You just have to keep climbing up here. Open the fucking door. You know what? Better yet, how about this? I just go over here and save after opening the door. Save me some time. But I think that's what I did last time, was like, you slash and dodge, slash and dodge. Oh my god. 
Yeah, I think that's all you're supposed to do is like hit, then dodge, wait for an opening, hit and dodge. Those grab moves that he does, that, that's what really fucks you over, man. something good there, and then you had to be a little junior son of a bitch. Damn it. Oh my god. And I don't remember how to use the fucking uh, Nimpo thing. I was trying to turn that some bitch on, but then it. That's really all you have to do is that you just get close to him, you hit him a few times, dodge away. It's It's that simple. It's just. I don't have a whole lot of health, and I don't feel like going back to Muramasa buying some fucking potions. Realistically, you don't need to use the Nimpo art skills that you have. You can, you can wait to hold off on that once you get to the actual city. That's when you're really going to need it. God damn it! God, come on, man! Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit! Oh my fucking god! Oh my god, man, come on!
Yeah, totally. Let's start off the fight by using one of my great elixirs. Cheating bitch! Gotcha! That level was a good way to show you what you got coming up. The city is great. You get plenty of flight, uh, fighting and, and upgrades and, and, and building your character up. But that was a great level to show you, hey, uh, it's going to get tough. The village was kind of tough. Well, actually, the village wasn't really tough at all. This was definitely tough because the, the bad guys are going to grab you. Uh, the boss is tough. It's going to show you what's coming up in the city. The city's going to gradually build it up. Uh, like, very gradually. And it's going to be annoying. But you got to upgrade your weapons. That's why they showed you Muramasa. And you can upgrade weapons with him. Buying items and stuff. It's one of those. The airship's okay. Uh, it's okay. The city is better. You get a lot of fighting. A lot of story. A lot of lore and all that. Um, it's definitely a lot of headaches, too. But... It's gonna it this level the airship level was a perfect example to show you what you can expect later on in the game It's gonna be bad guys. They're gonna be tough and bosses are definitely gonna be tough If you don't have the items to heal yourself or revive yourself, you're kind of gonna be in a, a world of hurt So that's what that was but the city it builds you back it it starts it starts off easy Then it starts getting a lot harder but that level alone was to show you hey uh, upgrade your items, buy equipment, uh, prepare for the bad guys to do all kinds of stuff to you, and prepare for bosses. Huh, Master Ninja. Hmm. It's interesting. Imperial City Infiltration. He has escaped from the crash airship. Spread out before him in the city to run a Okay. We're going to save, uh, and then uh, I'll stop the video and we'll continue on after that. saved we're good hope you guys enjoy leave a like comment subscribe there's gonna definitely be a lot of uh a lot of me dying and me yelling and cursing and all that but i mean i've been doing that since the beginning anyways. so anyways uh hope you enjoy leave a like comment subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time